hey y'all welcome back to my channel so i want to start this video off by saying i did not necessarily want to bring y'all in the shower with me but i really wanted everyone to see what a really like good and proper lather and rinse look like so it was only right that i did a demonstration uh so let's go ahead and jump straight in i like to start off my shower routine by dry brushing um, or exfoliating in some form or fashion. So if I dry brush, I start this process outside of the shower. I actually saw a post on Instagram of a lady talking about why you should dry brush towards your heart versus away from it. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. The second form of exfoliation is using exfoliating gloves to cleanse your body while you're in the shower. These are one of my favorite pairs from Amazon. I love the color of them. I love the way they feel. They're not too rough, but they're not too soft. So they don't feel like they're not doing anything, if that makes sense. I'll link these down below as well. So if you're going to exfoliate with exfoliating gloves, I recommend starting off your shower in any, at any time you're showering actually, with just cleansing your body with some kind of basic soap. So that could be Dove, that could be the Dr. Bronner's, which is the one that I'm going to be using today. The Dr. Bronner's tea tree diluted with water inside of this cute little, um, pump bottle that I got from Ikea a couple years ago. I keep this in my shower. I always use this to clean um, my body. Sometimes I just use this and I'll just wash twice or sometimes I'll use this before my favorite smell good body wash which is this one from the European Wax Center. Literally perfection. I'm obsessed with it. It's formulated to slow your hair growth and to smooth your skin. Next thing that I've been obsessed with while showering is this awesome African net sponge. I seen somebody using this on TikTok a couple months ago and I decided to go ahead and get one. It's also from Amazon and when I tell you guys this makes my shower every single day like the way the soap goes on and the way that it just lathers up I don't know I mean I know that the soap is really good and it lathers well but I feel like this sponge just makes everything lather like so much more and just look at those bubbles seriously like I could not get enough of these bubbles so this makes my shower the sponge is so long and it also gives you like a gentle exfoliation um, as well it's not too harsh but the material of it makes my skin really soft and smooth and I'm just telling y'all my man say my skin is soft and smooth so I'm literally giving you the recipe right now so now I want to take some time to talk to my people who are trying to up their hygiene. This could be my teenagers who are watching, you know, moms, dads, if y'all want to send this video out to your stinky kids. Um, or if somebody wants to send this video out to their stinky friends, no shade. I'm glad you're here. This is what we're doing. We're getting everything together. Um, I just really want you guys to know whenever you're showering, it's very, very important to make sure that you are getting all of the spots, all of the corners, all of the things that you can't necessarily necessarily see um, between your toes between your cheeks yes get between those cheeks get everywhere okay like everywhere needs to be lathered up don't get soap inside of places that soap shouldn't be inside of but everything should be nice and clean even if you have to go over the area multiple times with soap one or two times sometimes does not get it for everybody also make sure that you are rinsing your body thoroughly we don't want any soap dried up sitting behind your ears sitting between your toes we don't want any of that stuff so make sure that you are lathering and rinsing very thoroughly spend a little extra time on those areas that really need more attention look how much closer so we are to supple smooth hydrated silky skin let's keep going let's go ahead and hop out the shower grab your towel the Casa Luna collection from Target is one of my favorites I have these towels in so many different colors the waffle pattern just absorbs the water so well it's soft and on your skin it's not so harsh and it doesn't suck all of the moisture out of you so I'm extra this step the hyaluronic acid spray from Dermalogica need I say more <laughs> scooch in real close for a pro tip before you apply your deodorant, make sure that your underarms are completely dry. This is going to allow your deodorant to last longer and will really allow the product to work a lot better, especially for my natural girlies. You're welcome. If applicable to you, the next step that we're going to do is prevent and treat any ingrown hairs that we have. I really like this roll-on one from the European Wax Center. Now it's time for lotion and I just want to make a mention and say that your shower routine is going to include whichever products you have and whatever products you like. You don't have to necessarily run out and buy a ton of new stuff or a new shower routine unless you just want to try out some products or elevate your routine with some new tools. Also try to repurpose things that you already have. We're going to go ahead and move into body oils. Look how soft and silky. You guys remember how it looked before? 
compared to how it looked now put a little side by side so y'all can kind of see the difference after our lotion i like to top off my skin with an oil the oil is just going to seal all of that moisture into the skin i'm going to be using this slow one also by the european wax center in the coconut fragrance the last step in this routine will be adding a fragrance of your choice and this is all I have for you girls. This is my quick summertime shower routine. If you guys are interested in seeing more tips and tricks and methods that I use to keep my skin soft and also more awesome products, make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one.